Hi everyone, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And what we're going to be doing today, we're going to take a trip through history. Now, I'm setting on some, to me, old farm equipment. Now, some people might think it's just rusted old junk, but through my eyes, it's history. But I'm going to ask you the question, what do you hear and what do you see when you look at it? So come along with me, and I'll see you on the other side. When some people see this, all they see is just rusted old metal. But what do I see? I see history, and I hear the memories of that history. This rust tells a story of many years out in the garden, out in the fields, bringing in the crops. If you listen, you first hear the sound of the horses pulling the this, then later on, you hear the sound of the tractor. What used to be brightly colored metal and sharp blades, now through the passage of time and hard work. Although they are now rusty and dull, the work they have achieved and their memories will forever live on. Does this make you wonder? Are you curious about how many rows of corn or rows of beans these blades are responsible for? Like I say, to some it's rust, to others it's history. When you look at this, what do you think? I think that chains and families are similar. They're only strong because they're the weakest link. But this chain, just like many families, although you might have your differences and have a little rust on you, you survive generation after generation to tell your story. When you see dirt on this plow, what do you think? Was it there yesterday? Or was it there five generations ago? Who knows? Only history can tell. And it's talking to us now. All we have to do is listen and we can find the answer. How long have these blades been stored here? Well, when it first started, this mighty tree that we now see was only a foot tall. So I'll let you maybe figure out the math. This is from a different angle. But the same question, how many generations does it take for this little one foot tree when it was first planted to now reach this height? Look at these giant monster claws. I know what you're thinking, they're not monster claws. They're just part of a tractor. Yeah, but if you're the dirt they've been pull, they're pulling through, then they're giant monster claws. And if you have my imagination, they're giant monster claws. Be careful. It could be coming for you. When you see this, what do you think? Do you think of how many generations it took to build up rust like this? And how much hard work this machine we took trying to bring the crops in? You would notice the boat is missing. What happened, you wonder? I believe that time we pulled up a big rock in the garden, it snapped off. How many generations of work out in the garden or out in the field does it take for these once shiny springs to now look like this? Well, what did you hear and what did you see? Of course, I know my imagination is probably different from yours, so you probably heard something and, and saw something different in the, in the rust and the metal and the history that I did. But that's fine. That's why I'm asking the question because we all have our own imagination and we all see things differently. That's one of the wonders of photography. And of course, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, don't forget to go down the right hand corner, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. That motivates me to go out and do more videos. And of course, if you don't like what you see, it's all right to leave the thumbs down. Just give me a reason why you don't like it, because now that will motivate me to go out so you will like it the next time. Because I was said it before, I will continue to say it. When it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And you know how I, how I always in my videos, the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. With that being said, I definitely want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you next time.